It started with robots that could walk. Now they can speak, feel emotions, even manipulate humans. In 2025, AI robotics crossed a line, and you need to see it to believe it. From jaw-dropping humanoids in China to emotion-reading bots in Japan, these eight robots aren't just advanced, they're disturbingly real. Let's begin. We're revealing eight AI robots. So advanced, so human, they're forcing us to question, what happens next? Robots used to be science fiction, but not anymore. In just the past few months, AI machines have started walking among us, not in labs, but in warehouses, malls, airports, even homes. These machines don't just respond, they adapt. They're learning how to speak, how to recognize you, how to predict what you'll do next, and in some cases, how to replace you. This isn't just about innovation anymore, it's about control. Lust 2. First up is the Lust 2 from Lumos Robotics. It looks like a crash test dummy until it suddenly snaps upright from the floor in under one second. From lying flat to fully standing, all on its own, no hydraulics, no wires, no tricks. It doesn't just stand, it recovers, balances, and corrects its posture like a trained athlete. The spine flexes, the joints lock into place, and the robot stabilizes itself faster than most humans could even react. This kind of motion was once considered impossible for biped robots. Now it's real and it's fast. Imagine this kind of mobility applied in the real world. Search and rescue, military patrol, industrial repair. The LUS-2 could be the first of many robots designed not just to think, but to move anywhere, anytime. And this is only the beginning. Unitree G1. Next is the Unitree G1, a humanoid robot from China that's making headlines for all the right reasons, and some of the wrong ones too. At first glance, the G1 looks like a slim android from a sci-fi film. But once it starts moving, it's clear this machine is something different. It walks with a smooth, calculated stride, its arms move with precision, and it can perform actions that would have been impossible just a year ago, like lifting itself up, picking up objects, or maintaining balance while pushed. In just a few months, Unitree transformed it from a prototype into a fully walking interactive robot, with onboard AI, voice processing, and vision recognition. It costs less than most electric cars, making it one of the most affordable humanoids in the world. Some people are calling it the first true step toward mass market humanoid robots. Others are warning that giving machines like this to consumers without limits could be dangerous. Either way, the Unitree G1 is no longer a concept. It's walking, learning, and evolving, and it's doing it faster than anyone expected. Ameca. Robot number three is Ameca, one of the most lifelike humanoid robots ever built. Developed by Engineered Arts in the UK, Ameca doesn't walk like the others, but what it lacks in mobility, it makes up for in something far more unsettling, human expression. Ameca's face is packed with dozens of motors and sensors that allow it to smile, blink, frown, smirk, and even show confusion or surprise. The movements aren't robotic or stiff. They're smooth, nuanced, and disturbingly realistic. It reacts in real time. Look it in the eye, and it looks back. Speak to it, and it responds with synchronized facial movements and AI-generated speech. The most shocking part? It doesn't just mimic emotions, it understands context. Some researchers believe a mecha could be used in therapy, education, and customer service. Others say it's the beginning of something deeper, machines that influence emotion. Tesla Optimus. Robot number four is Tesla Optimus, Elon Musk's bold attempt to build a general-purpose humanoid robot. Optimus is now walking independently, sorting objects, folding clothes, and performing basic tasks using AI vision and hand control. What sets Optimus apart is the ambition behind it. Tesla wants this robot to be built at scale, just like their cars. That means mass affordability, mass production, and mass integration in homes, factories, and beyond. Imagine a machine that can take out your trash, do your laundry, or stock a warehouse shelf, all without getting tired or bored. Critics argue it's too slow, too early, too clunky, but when Elon Musk says his robots will be in homes by the end of the decade, people start paying attention. And now, for the first time, they might actually believe him. Phoenix. Robot number five is Phoenix, a humanoid robot developed by the Canadian company Sanctuary AI. This robot isn't just for walking or talking, it's designed to do real jobs. It has hands that can operate tools, arms that can handle cables and buttons, and an AI brain that can be trained to complete new tasks in under 24 hours, thanks to a system called Carbon. In demos, Phoenix has been shown working in logistics, retail, and industrial settings. It's fast, adaptable, and getting smarter every week. Some experts are calling it the future of labor. Others are raising alarms. Because a robot that can do what millions of people do every day, just faster and cheaper, might not just help us, it might replace us. Walker S. 
Robot number six is Walker S, a full-sized humanoid from UB Tech Robotics in China. Unlike most humanoids, Walker S is designed for home and public interaction. It can walk, open doors, wave, and even dance. It recognizes faces, responds to voice commands, and connects with smart home devices. Walker S is being built to assist, guide, and serve, not in the future, but right now. In demos, it has delivered packages, guided people around showrooms, and even performed at tech expos. Every movement is controlled by a central AI system that constantly adjusts balance, posture, and intent. Ubitech says this robot could be a receptionist, a tour guide, or even a personal assistant. It's not perfect, but it's functional, and it's already among us. Digit. Robot number seven is Digit, a two-legged robot developed by Agility Robotics in the US. Digit doesn't look human. It has no face and barely any arms, but it walks, balances, carries, and climbs stairs with surprising fluidity. It's already being tested in Amazon warehouses where it picks up totes and works beside humans. Digit isn't trying to be human. It's trying to be efficient. Built for labor, not companionship, Digit is one of the first humanoid robots already in active use. And unlike most experimental bots, Digit is in production. It's shipping, it's improving, and it's real. Cyber One, robot number eight is Cyber One, Xiaomi's first entry into the humanoid race. Cyber One is sleek, minimal, and built to recognize faces, understand voice commands, and interpret emotions. It was revealed on stage in a dramatic demo, walking out to greet a live audience. It's still in development, but it sends a clear message. The companies that make your phones and smart homes are now building humanoid robots for everyday life. Cyber One isn't the most advanced robot, but it's one of the most important, because it shows that consumer robotics isn't a dream anymore. It's the next product category. We've just looked at eight of the most advanced, most shocking AI robots of 2025. Some of them walk like us, some think like us, a few are already working among us. And while they're still machines, each one is blurring the line between human and artificial, faster than anyone expected. The question is, how soon? Let me know in the comments, which one amazed you the most? Which one scared you the most? And would you ever want one of these living in your home? Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see how far this all goes.